Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have one of our most recent eBay purchases. This was a lot, or I should say is a lot, of 20 different lighters. So they have chosen to mail it in a USPS priority mail flat rate envelope, padded flat rate envelope. We'll see whether these 20 lighters are protected well enough inside of this container or not. Now I've said in the past I didn't think it would be fair to be showing the address out here on YouTube just to anybody. But I will, just like I did last time, show you the username of the seller from the listing page on eBay. So we've got three different sort of reconstructed bubble mailers here and then one individual Lighter looks like it might be brand new. And pretty common stuff here, but for the money, for the price of the group, well worth it for me to get this many advertising lighters. And maybe even one or two that we can add to the collection. Now, while I will give this seller praise for the bubble mailer, I would have preferred that there be something separating all these lighters from banging up against each other. Now, let me just say that so far the way that they're banging up against each other at least there wasn't any damage occurring to the faces of the lighter but you know who knows we may have some scuffs or scratches here that we could have otherwise done without but for what I bought here like I said not at all upset I don't expect everyone to package their lighters as securely as I do this I would put as a, so far, looks like they stayed intact pretty well. The only real ding is the fact that the seller allowed the lighters to beat up against each other. And again, it's not really something when I'm buying a group of lighters that I'm going to get real particular about. Some of these with the paint that's chipping off of, I don't know, it's possible some of that could have happened in transit. Which you can see from this listing photo that it did not occur in transit. But some really nice lighters here. Although we're obviously, I think, going to have some flint issues to deal with some really cool advertising lighters that for the most part look really clean and so far from all the ones that I've seen pretty much the condition I expected 
some of them will definitely need some cleaning and that gray finish there on the bottom is one that I don't know if I've seen on a park lighter before really cool so there's six six so there's thirteen should be seven more in here and I don't know how most of you buy collect sell this is really the way that I like to buy and sell lighters it's getting a whole bunch of them at one time and I would give the seller credit they seem to have it's a really nice little ideal line those are really well made Japanese lighters but the seller constructed a way to keep these between the cardboard and as I said while they may have gotten some damage here writing up against there eh, maybe maybe that was there already either way my point in this series of videos these unboxing or unpackaging videos is just to show you how different sellers package vintage lighters to ship them And I've seen way, way worse than this for sure. There was one particular lighter. There it is. Missed it. Looks like maybe it's new. And I have never had one of these before. Not sure how this works with the date. Ah, very nice. Okay, so we'll have to get this cleaned up. That'll be a that'll be a fun video to make right there. Really cool. That's a closed insert too. Really happy to have that lighter. Until next time.